And next, I'm stopping off to find out about a traditional craft that's at risk of being lost. As you get a little older, there's nothing more enticing than the lure of a good chair. Why stand up when you can sit down? Exactly. I thought you'd agree. Well, here in High Wycombe, they make a rather famous and a rather comfortable chair. And I'm going to help them make one, and then I'm going to sit in it. High Wycombe in Buckinghamshire was the chair-making capital of the world in the 19th century. Using wood from the Chiltern forests and being so close to London, the local chair makers created an industry that thrived. Their most famous product was the Windsor chair, made from a solid shaped wooden seat into which the arms, legs and back were attached. The seats were made to order and personalised in shape. But by the early 20th century, the development of machinery saw the industry move slowly away from making just chairs to producing a wide variety of fine furniture. Stuart Linford is one of only a few chairmakers left producing Windsor chairs. He's been doing it here in High Wycombe since he was 18 years old. Hello there. Hello. You must be Stuart. Yes, Stuart, I'm Abe. You're Abe. Yeah. Well, pleased to meet you. Well, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the last Windsor chairmaker in High Wycombe. I know. I'm well, amazed on two counts. One, I didn't know High Wycombe was the centre of chairs, yeah. historically. And, and two, I didn't know you, there was, you were the last one. It'd be reassuringly expensive. <laughs> You make a quality product, therefore. Exactly. therefore. We have to make the Rolls Royce. Yeah. That's what we're left with in manufacturing in this country. Yeah. So why, did, why did High Wycombe become the centre of chair making? Very good question. The Beechwoods, Buckinghamshire weed, grew on the Chiltern Hills, still does, yeah. and we use it to make the chair parts. So Beechwoods, the indigenous local resource, right. and this is the last chair factory left that was built in the 1890s for chair production right. that's still being used for the purpose which it was intended. Yeah. So we're very proud of it. These must be all the patterns for the... Uh, yes, that's right, Abe. These are the seat patterns. We've just taken Victoria Beckham's down, which is a little tiny one there. <laughs> and then we had Cyril Smith, the great big... And then, of course, you have the American fitting, but we can't yeah. say that, really. Yeah. And these up here are what they call broadsheets. And all these High Wycombe chair factories had their range of broadsheets. Yeah. So these are all Windsor chairs. The definition is a solid wooden seat into which all the parts are socketed. So the legs, arms and back are all going into the seat. The seat the is the is axis of construction. There are many different designs of Windsor chair and broad sheets like these allowed you to match the style of chair to your requirements. So why was the chair called Windsor when it was made in High Wycombe? Well, the only rumour we've got is that Farmer George, George III, was hunting in Windsor Great Park and he yeah. took shelter in an artisan's cottage whilst he was hunting and he sat in a chair and said, my God, this is a fine Windsor chair. Right. The problem... So he I, appropriated it yeah. immediately, being a royal. The problem... He decided it was his. Absolutely. <laughs> the problem with the story is there's nobody around who can remember yeah. him saying that because it's 250 years ago. Yeah. So. Right, well, it's about time I found out how this famous chair's crafted. And this over here we're very proud of. This is the Adzing machine. The Adzing machine. Yeah. This machine was new in 1935, yeah. so we call it the new machine. <laughs> and it does the all-important adzing, as we call it, right. or bum shaping. Yeah. It's OK, Abe. We yeah. do do an individual <laughs> fitting service, <laughs> but it's not for the squeamish or faint-hearted. <laughs> so at this point, Aid, I think if I can give you the apron I'm to put on... Join the company. And you are now an honorary chairmaker at Stuart Linford's. Marvellous. It's your first day at work. Please put the apron on. We've got a nice clean one from you, cos this is what happens <laughs> after a while. Ear defenders, then. This is obviously a noisy machine. Although it looks like the machine's doing the work, Stuart is creating the movement and adding pressure to the wood, which will give the chair its famous sumptuous scooped shape. The standout feature of the Windsor, though, is its decorative legs. So this is the kind of leg we're aiming for, isn't it? Absolutely. This is a wheel-back leg. It's a traditional, classic Windsor chair design. goes back to about 1770. Yeah. So it's got what we call the beads and hollows, and that bit there is called the quirk. We've got to turn it down to the correct diameter to fit into the seat, yeah. not too tight, not too loose. And we've got these fingers that will drop down to help us get all the diameters, yeah. All right, how does it, how does it work? OK, well, we've put the safety specs on. Um, 
I've there. always got my safety specs on. You've always got them on. <laughs> so I'm going to start up the lathe. And then this is a gouge. Yeah. And I'm just going to use it to rough down. This is a bit of a treat for me. I've always wanted to be a carpenter. Now I'm going to use what's called a, a parting chisel now to give me the line there. Oh, I'm just itching to have a go. Can I have a go? Of course you can, Aidan. There you go. It's a fantastic tool, yes. that, isn't it? It's almost medieval, isn't it? Gorgeous, isn't it? It's just a lovely. Torture. Yeah. So I'm just I'm yeah, using, I'm using there, the middle. Of it. Using the middle of it there. Yeah. Quite a lot of weight. Yeah. Give it down a bit, and then and then just that's it. You've got it. There we go. Too far? That's fine. <laughs> can we go with that one as well? Yeah, because you can. There you go. Quite nice, isn't it? That's really satisfying, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is, it is a dusty job, isn't it? <coughs> Got a woodwork factory in there. When did you first have the idea, I want to chop some wood up? Well, I was in the school library, yeah. and there was a book, and it was on chair making in High Wycombe. And I opened this book, and there were these pictures of guys at the bench making chairs in High Wycombe, and they had all the spoke shaves hanging up in the window and the yeah. hammers. And I looked at that picture and I thought, that's what I want to do. I want to be a chair maker. Yeah. And at the age of 21, I had my own business doing that, and that was 35 years ago. Marvellous. Stuart's built up an impressive business and has 27 people working on site. He's taking me to the heart of the factory and the oldest part of the building, his workshop. So well, now we're going to make a chair. Yeah, that's obviously the finished product. Yep, that's the finished. That's what, that's what we're aiming back for. wins a chair. Again, the axis of construction is the wooden seat. Classic. We've already, I love that. Look at that. We've shaped it. That's it. Well, that's the steam bent cow horn stretcher. So here we see the components. So we stick the back leg in there. We stick the front leg in there. Now we put the sticks in there. That's it. Are they numbered? Yeah. And we put the back bow in here, and we've just got to work those in. Right, give it a tap down. Here we go. Let's see if it will stand. There you go, Aid. You made yourself a chair, mate. And now I shall sit in it. Absolutely. <sighs> Oh, I'll tell you comfy. what, it's comfy, isn't it, yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting up. <laughs> I'm going to say thank you very much while I'm sitting down. Pleasure. Thank you. Uh, you've been brilliant. If you want to thank just you. turn the lights off and leave me in here, I'll be, I'll be quite happy for a while. Well, I'll just take a little um, snap from my scrapbook. You holding your chair. <laughs> <laughs>